Hey guys, we're going to be filming a smoky eye tutorial today. I'm doing a voiceover only because my son is sleeping next to me. So let's get started. I clip my hair back so that it doesn't get in my way. I'm going to go and get started with the uh, MAC paint. And this one is in Sublime Nature. They used to sell it in stores a long time ago. I'm not sure if they sell it anymore. But I like this as my base only because it allows the eyeshadow to really stick onto it. And it doesn't smudge. It actually stays in place all day. And I just go ahead and blend that all over my lid. And I'll even like bring it up all the way up towards my brow bone. Um, just so that no matter what I put on my eye that day or for whatever look I'm doing um, nothing moves um, for the amount of time I'm wearing it Wow, this is so much better than talking in the video because I don't feel so stupid I feel like I can watch what I'm doing and then just tell you okay so then I just finished blending that in with my finger I'm very like I'm such a perfectionist and so each step will literally take me a million years to do um so yeah and I have to keep like looking at the camera because I always feel like it's not in focus and I'm like oh my god I'm not gonna film this video and then it's not in focus and then it's like garbage because then I can't even post it and my time is so valuable like I'm doing this while Jet is sleeping that's my son's name Jet and I need to take advantage of this time because once he's up that's it guys my day is over it's all about him um so yeah once I finish that I'm gonna go in with my first eyeshadow it's soft brown by mac this is one of my eyeshadow flat palettes that i created myself for my makeup kit that i bring to my um, clients houses or wherever i'm doing makeup that day and i'm just gonna go ahead and blend that only into my crease and this is gonna give me that first color that i need in order to build from that one with saddle which is another mac eyeshadow i like saddle because it's a little deeper than um soft brown and it really allows for that nice nice crease and i'm gonna do the same thing that i did with soft brown i'm just gonna go ahead and go over soft brown with saddle and really get in my crease with that and just kind of build the dimension in there it doesn't have to be perfect i always do my shadow first because i always like to wipe off the fallout especially when i'm working with a darker color i haven't mastered the put the powder under the eyes and then the you know powder will catch the fallout or whatever i just like it nice and neat and like as perfect as possible and so that's why I do it this way <laughs> Now I'm gonna go in with the lid color. This is I'm into it and I love this color This is this beautiful burgundy deep rich purple color um, It's so pretty especially on darker skin and the crease I've used it before and it's gorgeous it's literally gorgeous on any skin tone um, I'm actually just gonna put this all over the lid the only thing with this color is that I feel like you ha really have to build it um, because as you see like I have to keep going back and grabbing more and then putting it on my lid and doing the same thing a few times and then that's how the color actually builds but as far as the color that you get after you do all that it just works okay so I'm gonna just do that for a little bit I'm gonna actually do it on both eyes on camera so you can see and I'll speed it up a little bit just because if not it'll take forever I'm going in now with the clean blending brush and just blending out any harsh lines that I see there on the eyes to make it nice and soft. And then the next step will be the red eyeliner. This is from MAC and it's called Keep It Current. I love how thin the eyeliner is because it really allows you to get a nice thin or thick line depending on what you prefer without being a pro at doing the cat eye, which I'm not for sure. Um, so as you can see, it's really not hard. You just have to have a nice steady hand and then just kind of bring it out and it'll give you a nice sharp um, tail, which is what we all want. And I prefer, personally, I prefer a thinner 
cat eye than a thicker one depending on the look that I'm doing. See how pretty that looks? And I love this eyeliner. I love colored eyeliners right now because they're just different. I mean, black is always going to be classic, but just throwing in some color sometimes is also fun and different. And I know my forehead is super big, guys. I'm so sorry. It took off like half the camera, but I can't do anything about that part. So as I told you, this is what I always do after my eyes. I take a wet wipe and I go ahead and just clean it up. And it also allows me to make the cat eye even sharper by doing it like that. Now I'm curling my lashes with a Tarte Eyelash Curler. And I have to do this step no matter what because my eyelashes grow straight and not curled. And then I'm going to go in with these Cara Wispy Lashes. They're 100% human hair. And I'm measuring them. I always have to measure them because I don't want them to be too long. And then I'll go ahead and cut a piece, usually from the front, um, and go ahead and put them on with some duo glue. I like the Cara Lashes. I get these at the Makeup Club, which is on Hollywood Beach down the street from my house. But I'm definitely down to try different brands if you guys can recommend some. Then I'll go in with the tweezers and I'll pinch the falsies together with my own lashes. Um, just to make sure they're as close together as possible, making them more natural looking. Once I put them on, I always add an extra layer of glue just so they don't they don't come off while I'm doing something. And this is what they look like, nice and natural, but an extra something. Now I'm going to go in with the MAC Pore Refining Stick and this is a nice little primer to put like around where you get like the larger pores usually around your nose. For me I have a really shiny T-zone so I'll put that on my forehead, on my chin and then I'll always go back with my hands and just blend it out um, before I go ahead and put my foundation on. Oh, yeah. Okay, and I always damp my beauty blender with Fix Plus because I like my skin dewy and I'm using the MAC Face and Body Foundation in C6, which is the foundation I spoke about in my first intro video only because it's super natural and I like it to feel more like skin rather than anything else. I am using a shade that's a little darker because I did get a spray tan and although it's fading on my face, it does match my body. And now this foundation isn't for everybody only because it is very light so it doesn't really have full coverage especially if you have like acne or um, blemishes that you want to cover up. You can definitely build it up like put one layer and then let it dry a little bit and then add another layer. It is buildable and you can always add concealer also underneath if you want that extra coverage. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my concealer. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And I love this concealer. I actually know people that use this concealer as a foundation because it's that smooth and it has a nice satin finish. It's not like cakey or anything like that. And I just put that under my eyes and it really gives me that bright under eye that I'm looking for. I was a liar. I gave into the fire. I know I should have fought it. At least I'm being honest. Now I go in with the RCMA No Color Powder and I apply this with a small brush under my eyes. I like using a smaller brush because it allows me to really get into every single crease because I hate an under eye that creases. And then I'll go ahead and just kind of leave it there to bake a little bit as I do the rest of my face. And I will take this powder and lightly dust off my forehead and also around my nose and around my lips. Cause I know that I failed you I should have done you better Cause you don't want a liar And I know when I know when I know she gives you everything So while that powder sits there, I'm gonna go back with the eyeliner and I'm gonna go over the glue that has dried now but it always leaves like this clear shiny residue that I don't like and since the eyeliner has a matte finish, that'll kind of help me get rid of it. That's all I'm doing. I'm just going over that same line that I already had. Now I'm dusting off the powder with that same brush and making sure that I get it all off and leave it nice and bright. So for contouring, we're going to go in with the Pretty Vulgar Bronze to Be item. I was given this by BoxyCharm when I had a makeup job there last last month, was it? Thanks, Joe. And I went ahead and put it on the... What is that called? 
the hollows of your cheeks I don't know but it looks like doo, doo at first then I just blended it out I was like damn is this too dark but then it ended up looking right I just blended it out as much as possible as you guys can tell I don't do this all the time because I completely forgot to do my forehead I did think about doing my nose but I'm like mm, whatever I don't really care like I didn't really feel like doing my nose but I forgot to do my forehead which I should have done because contouring it does wonders for big foreheads just so y'all know um so I definitely should have done it but maybe next time next time I'll do it then I'll go back in with my beauty blender and some translucent powder the same RCMA powder and I'll kind of put it underneath where I want the contour to end I'll find something. I'll find something. okay <laughs> then I'm gonna go in with Marc Jacobs mascara and just go put it on my natural lashes I don't put it on the falsies if I don't have to I'll just kind of try and get mine more than the falsies after I let that powder sit a while, I'm going to go ahead and dust it off with a clean powder brush and just get all of that off. Now for blush, I'm going to be using Gingerly by MAC. This is an oldie but a goodie. And I love blush, as you guys can tell. I probably overdo it all the time, but that's okay. Um, then for highlighter, we're going to be using Pretty Vulgar's this one's called Shimmering Swan, and I always spray my brush with Fix Plus before putting on a product that can be used dry or wet, just because it definitely allows you to intensify that highlight. This one was also given to me in a different box by Joe um, from BoxyCharm, so I wanted to try it out today too, and I was actually impressed. I'm very picky with it, only because like some highlights will give you more texture than you actually want on your face, and I don't really have a lot of texture as it is, and I don't want anything to add texture to my face. Then I'm going to go back in with Saddle and I'm going to go ahead and just connect the under eye powder to the liner because I just want to kind of try and smoke it out now. I'm going to go in with Feline from MAC which is a really really black eyeliner and it's pretty good. I mean it doesn't even wipe off unless you're actually using makeup remover. So I'm going to go ahead and use that and then go in with the same brush and now I'm going to go in with the burgundy color. I'm into it and smudge out the eyeliner with I'm into it and kind of mix them all together to kind of smoke out my under eye. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going in with uh, Max Pl uh, Extended Play Giga Lash Black Mascara because this is the mascara that I have that has a, a smaller brush and so it allows me to really get my lower lashes um, nice and defined without being clumpy. And then my two lip products I talked about in my first video. This is Well Bred Brown by MAC, which is my go-to everyday lipstick and I always pair it off with the Tarte, what's it called? Double Tap. Tarte Double Tap Lip Gloss, which is more of that pinky nude color. So it's like brown mixed with nude, and that's perfect for me. And I'm putting these together. I always do more of a lighter lip when I do a bolder eye. Um, unless it's it calls for a bold lip, bold eye, I always try to balance them out. Like if I have a bold lip, I'll do a light eye. If I have a light eye, I'll do a bold lip. All right, so we'll wrap it up with some Fix Plus setting spray. Make sure that makeup stays on all day. Remove the clip, fluff up the hair. My hair doesn't really have a lot of volume right now because I am letting it grow to one length, like I mentioned in my intro video on my channel. Um, but for now, it looks good to me. I mean, it's not too bad. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know if you like the voiceover or maybe not. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye.